Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I am Pešić Branislav, veterinary medicine doctor. The topic of our paper was disinfection as a biosafety measure in pheasant farms. The breeding of pheasants is important because of the increase in tourist hunting. Uh, in the last years, which is uh, because of the increase of uh, hunters, uh, uh, increased interest in uh, hunting wild game. Uh, we want to uh, maintain uh, the abundance of uh, the population in uh, nature. Uh, we had to uh, increase uh, the introduction of uh, pheasants uh, into uh, open uh, hunting grounds. Uh, uh, these are uh, uh, to define by safety measures. Biosafety is a term which is used uh, to explain uh, the efforts uh, which are used uh, to reduce and uh, remove possible threats uh, which uh, are a result of, uh, uh, of uh, biotechnology and its uh, products. Biotechnology is trying uh, to uh, to the most uh, uh, accessible uh, ways uh, to increase uh, artificial breeding. Uh, Biosafety measures which are used uh, during uh, re regular technological uh, measures, uh, these are measures which are implemented uh, when uh, an disease occurs. Uh, there is a des des uh, uh, deratization and uh, 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 removing uh, insects. There are more uh, biosafety measures which are implemented, not uh, just one, and we will have a problem if not uh, one measure is implemented. It is a bio uh, disinfection is a biosafety measure, uh, and it is uh, done in the technological segment of the production process. And it is supposed to be uh, done by trained personnel uh, daily uh, according uh, to priorly defined uh, biosafety uh, guide rules. It could be prevented, preventive uh, when it is done in order to prevent uh, the occurrence of certain diseases. If uh, a certain disease does occur, uh, then we have uh, disinfection uh, which is aimed uh, at uh, uh, removing a uh, pathogen which uh, caused uh, disease and we have a final disinfection which is done after all these the phases of disinfection uh, which must be uh, uh, implemented are mechanical uh, cleaning uh, sanitary wash and uh, disinfection as a phase uh, what uh, needs to be uh, stressed is uh, we can only disinfect uh, using a uh, disinfectant uh, uh, but uh, without a mechanical cleaning or uh, sanitary wash, uh, removing uh, any kind of uh, visible uh, dirt uh, from it, uh, the effect of uh, disinfectant will not uh, be that effective. Because in our case, uh, organic material uh, is what uh, uh, bonds uh, the disinfectant and disinfected uh, material to itself. Uh, the production uh, areas in uh, pheasant farms, uh, there are uh, aviaries uh, for the uh, parent uh, stock, for the parent flock. Uh, production uh, areas are uh, rounded up. Uh, individuals are kept in them uh, until they are uh, uh, set uh, free into the wild. Uh, we have uh, rooms for uh, storage of eggs, we have uh, incubation stations or hatcheries, we have uh, facilities uh, for uh, pheasant chicks uh, up to two weeks, uh, then we have uh, facilities uh, for uh, pheasant chicks uh, from two to six weeks uh, with uh, aviaries, and uh, finally uh, facilities uh, for pheasant uh, uh, over uh, six weeks, uh, this is where we keep them until we set them free into the uh, hunting ground. And the way we do the disinfection, in our case, uh, in a pheasant farm near Belgrade, uh, which uh, disinfected uh, the walls uh, uh, by uh, painting, uh, then uh, the floors were uh, uh, by uh, uh, washing with 2% uh, parasitic acid uh, for uh, the uh, soil, 3% uh, parasitic uh, acid. Uh, for the equipment, uh, we uh, soaked uh, the equipment into 2% uh, parasitic acid, uh, while uh, the matting and uh, the carton boards uh, 
for eggs were uh, washed in uh, uh, formaldehyde uh, vapor and incubator and uh, aviaries uh, and um, uh, Mills were washed uh, also by uh, formaldehyde vapor. In order to check uh, the effects of this infection, we take uh, samples uh, from the uh, uh, surfaces. Uh, we took uh, five uh, samples uh, from each surface uh, before the disinfection and 30 minutes after the disinfection. Uh, we took uh, swabs uh, using uh, the covers uh, for shoes. Uh, the samples were taken to laboratories in uh, uh, hand in refrigerators uh, and in laboratories we did uh, the checking uh, for uh, the numbers of bacteria, endobacteria, salmonella uh, and uh, molds. Uh, these uh, disinfectants, uh, all uh, uh, the results of the bacteriological uh, uh, inspection can be seen in this uh, table. I do not want to mention everything that is written. We had uh, the example of the feeders uh, and uh, the uh, drinkers. They were made, uh, the feeders were uh, made of wood while the uh, drinkers were made of plastic. Because because the feeders were made of uh, wood, uh, they uh, had uh, a larger amount of uh, uh, bacteria, and uh, after this infection, uh, uh, after this infection, uh, perhaps uh, around uh, half uh, of this, the bacteria was uh, uh, was. Uh, uh, cleaned, uh, while for the drinkers uh, we had uh, uh, the high, uh, high amount of bacteria before the disinfection but uh, zero after uh, disinfection because they are made of uh, plastic and so the effect uh, of uh, the disinfectant was 100%. Uh, we can also uh, notice that uh, in uh, the egg cassettes, uh, which are made of plastic, uh, the results are very good, while for the egg cartons, uh, the results are weaker because the disinfectant uh, uh, cannot have that effect uh, on uh, cartons uh, because of the contact uh, with the bacteria on the surface of the cartons for the eggs. Uh, the inside of the mills and of the cassettes uh, uh, was, were uh, disinfected and after disinfection, disinfection uh, the bacteria was uh, zero, which means that uh, where we can uh, do mechanical cleaning and sanitary wash before disinfection uh, in a proper way, uh, the uh, result of the disinfectant will be maximal and its effects as well. Uh, in the production units, so we can also notice that uh, uh, we're, uh, uh, we keep uh, the pheasant chicks uh, from two to six uh, weeks of age. Uh, uh, there was an uh, increased uh, amount of uh, bacteria. While in the drinkers, after disinfection, the results uh, for bacteria was zero. And uh, the results of my mycological uh, research, uh, we can see that uh, after disinfection, only aspergillus, uh, uh, aspergillus uh, uh, molds uh, remained, which means uh, that uh, their spores are more uh, res resistant uh, to the effect of the disinfectant. Uh, the results uh, were uh, the same as uh, for the bacteria because the number of bacteria after disinfection was uh, zero on drinkers. And to conclude, using uh, disinfectant uh, on, uh, based on the parasitic acid and formaldehyde uh, uh, they had uh, uh, good results. And, uh, uh, however, because of uh, some of the surfaces which could not be cleaned uh, mechanically or washed uh, uh, the properly, uh, the results were not uh, so good uh, on uh, surfaces. Uh, using disinfection, uh, in fact, Pheasant farms uh, it had a positive effect on the percentage of uh, hatched pheasants uh, and uh, the low mortality uh, percentage uh, uh, compared to the previous uh, season where the results are from 62% increased for to 75%. Uh, Thank you for your attention.